Today we are going to go through a demo of dgraph and the use case we are going to take is from the world of master data management or MDM. In master data management, we manage data entities such as customers, vendors, products and so on. For this demo, we are taking a customer as an example and the name and title are the important attributes that we are going to manage. This customer is implemented as a type and here's the base, customer base that is used as an interface. The customer additionally stores the history or lineage of all the uh, customer attributes. It also stores the process or the workflow that manages the customer attributes from creation all the way to distribution to end systems. Let's talk about the process a bit. A typical process consists of several steps. So this process node right now is being used to store the last step or last event that has occurred and the next step that is associated with this process. And the process itself is created using a state machine concept. So there are two important types here. A state which points to a particular step or action that needs to occur like validate or standardize. The transition maps an event and a state to a next state. So for example, for a particular given event, the process move from, will move from a from state to a to state. Finally, the business logic elements of validate and standardize are implemented using a Java service and a JavaScript service respectively. This is just to illustrate that you can use a programming language of your choice and host these services in a container or runtime of your choice. Let's get started with the demo. So first, we are going to set up the state machine. Here's create customer, validate customer name, standardize title and distribute customer. This is the list of state that a customer master data management process will have. The event of customer created will push the process from a create customer to a validate customer name state. Customer validate will push it into a standardized title state and so on. Great, looks like we have set up the state machine. Let's create a new customer with the name John Doe and title Mr. Please note that this is in the mixed case. Great, looks like the customer has been created and look at the event customer created has been noted and there's an ID for the process itself, right? Here's the process ID. So let's go and check this process. So it looks like the last event is customer created. Here's Mr. John Doe and the next step is currently null. We will now ask dgraph itself to tell us what is the next step associated with this customer. We have created a custom mutation for that. So by calling this mutation, it comes back with the next step. The next step is validate customer name. So right now, the next step itself is validate. How do we come to know what action needs to be taken? For that, you can go into the documentation and check the details of the mutation around the validate customer name. So let's do exactly that. As you see, this mutation has been documented as a mutation that validates the customer name. And it also clearly says that it needs the process ID and the customer name for it to work. Great. Let's do that. So here, the client can then call this mutation passing the required attributes. Looks like the customer is validated. Great. Let's go to the next step again. The next step is now standardized title. Let's look at the documentation again. Standardized title standardizes the title and it requires process ID, customer ID and customer title as inputs. Great. Let's call standardized title. If you note, the title was in mixed case earlier, now it's in uppercase. Now, if you go and check what has happened to the process, you can review the history and lineage. So if you see that 
the customer history has been updated and you can also see that the previous value was mixed case title and the attribute has been changed by the step standardized title. Right? You can also see some of the process history elements. Finally, when we go to the next step, it will hit the distribute customer step and this completes the entire workflow. Thank you.